Before we get started, a quick heads up. The latest Panda Luna pig coin is now on pre-order from Lucky Moniero, uh, Lucky over in China. Uh, I've ordered one antique and one proof. <laughs> Okay guys, it is Numistaka and I'm back with you again, this time to show you something uh, a little bit different as a break from coin arrivals and coin grading and lots of old gold, maybe something that is a little more accessible. This time some French money from the Monet de Paris who have an amazing reputation for modern coin design. This one comes from Atmex and it is a celebration of the Dakota. Um, I've had a few French coins before and you may have seen a video I did a while back on the Baccarat coins that came in for grading. But uh, they do have, uh, I think, great designers, one of the greatest mints in the world in terms of their modern coin design. So today's coin is um, a just over half an ounce, about 0.67 of an ounce proof coin, limited mintage, and it celebrates or commemorates the 70th anniversary of the Berlin airlift. So uh, even I am not uh, old enough to remember the, uh, the actual Berlin airlift. So it may be a good idea just to uh, look back and, uh, and see what was happening in Europe at the time of the Berlin airlift. And uh, to work out what it is, it was all about the, uh, the blockade of the, uh, uh, that the Soviets did to stop goods and uh, anything coming in to Berlin. So to keep Berlin going uh, during that time without the road network, they used the Dakota aircraft and probably a number of other aircraft as well to, uh, to, to lift in all the food and uh, goods that the Berliners needed in order to get through the times the Soviets were blocking the roads. So uh, certainly worth commemorating. And uh, let's have a look at what they've done to the coin uh, itself. Interesting, I'm always interested that even though it's a fairly flimsy paper certificate, there is actually a certificate with a number printed on. And I really wish the American US Mint would um, follow the, the French Mint, the British Mint, and you know even the Shanghai and Chinese and Shenyang, all the mints, everyone in the whole world seems to be able to produce a number on a bit of paper but it seems a skill that has evaded the US Mint, and I really wish they'd change. So uh, what you've got is a lot of busy people uh, lifting uh, goods onto, um, I'm not quite sure what they're lifting goods onto actually, but there's a plane in the background, and there's people being very busy on the ground doing things, lots of planes uh, above the plane in the, the foreground over there. And right in the middle of the coin is the phrase Ich bin ein Berliner, which was uh, JFK in 1963 when he visited West Berlin. Um, I, I like it. I think it's a very nice coin. I'm not 100% sure why these coins are two-thirds of an ounce of silver rather than a full ounce of silver. So uh, it's part of a series of aviation history. It has a, uh, a, a value of 10 euros. So 10 euros is actually quite a high value. 10 euros is worth around about um, eight pound 50. I mean, nine pounds, I don't know. We hardly get any euros to the pound anymore. So uh, it's quite a valuable face value coin, high value coin, uh, proof coin, limited mintage, although not necessarily an incredibly low mintage. Uh, and uh, I think it's it's pretty nice. Um, apologies for doing this video single-handedly. It was taken at a time that uh, I did uh, forget my tripod. I came to the States 
this was delivered to the States and I didn't bring my little baby tripod with, so it requires a little bit more ingenuity to show you this coin and a few others that I took at the same time, and I guess you'll notice the ones that that applies to uh, when you see the shaky video and single-handed operation. So if you do want to buy one of these coins and add it to your collection, and uh, I think it's a pretty nice uh, coin, then uh, they have them in stock at AppMex. Um, I, I got a delivery of two or three coins actually at the same time, and I'll show you the others over the next few weeks. But uh, it's on the AppMex website. Uh, if you pay by an e-check, which is uh, how I pay AppMex, uh, then it's $49 and a few cents. And if you pay by PayPal, it's a couple of dollars extra. But I found the best way of, uh, of paying AppMex, particularly if you're spending uh, over $1,500, and I had a couple of more expensive coins delivered with this, that, um, yeah, e-check is probably the most cost-effective way of working with AppMex at the moment.